A golfer's meant to regroup his golf clubs once a year, or every 40 rounds, whichever comes first. Like most, I relied on a club pro, but since another lockdown and my coach saying my grips aren't on straight, I decided to give this a try myself. Now there are lots of videos out there already, but a lot of them make it look too easy and might have equipment that you might not have. So I'm going to make this as idiot proof as possible. Now all you're going to need for this is a knife, some tape, some solution, some tissue or a rag, some sort of bucket or tub, and of course, a grip. After doing this once, you're gonna to want to do this a lot more in the future by yourself, so I highly recommend buying the right equipment. I will leave a link down below to all the equipment that I'm using in this video. Step one is remove your old grip. Now, I'm using a hooked blade. You can use a normal, regular Stanley blade, but these stop you from scratching your shaft. So if you've got expensive clubs and you don't wanna scratch your shaft, definitely buy one of these hooked knives. You can get these off of Amazon very cheap. So, you start at the end, you put the knife under the grip, and you pull away from you, okay? So towards the camera, you will pull. And they literally go through the grip like a hot knife through butter. And then it's just a matter of pulling the grip off. Boom, as easy as that. Now the next step, you wanna get off all of that tape, all of the grip that's left on there, and just peel it all off. It comes off very easily. A tip for the end bit where there's tape, just get your hooked knife, stick that in there, and just pull it out. like so, and then just peel it all off. Now once you've got all the tape off, give it a rub down with the rag. Just don't give anyone eye contact while you do it. Get all them little bits off and get it nice and dry for applying the tape. Now the tape I am using is already pre-cut to the correct size, so which makes it even easier. You buy this as a set. So next up, all you need to do is get your double-sided tape, peel, ooh, satisfying. Peel the first bit back, and then stick this with just a little bit over the edge, because it is already pre-cut. Stick it down your shaft, it sounds dodgy, and then just wrap it round. Once you've got it wrapped round the shaft, just poke that little bit in the end, like so. And then all you want to do is just peel back the second layer. Now next up is lubing up your shaft. Again, I bought a kit, so I am using the spray solution. Uh, I was very hesitant about this. I didn't think it was gonna be enough, but it is brilliant. This version you can use inside because it is non-toxic, odorless, non-flammable, and very, very effective. Now all you need to do is just spray the shaft. This is why it's essential to have a bucket or something below. So just lather all that spray. Uh, you can use this indoors, this is why it's brilliant because it's odorless, non-flammable, non-toxic. So you can get away with using this indoors. And even put your finger over the end, put it inside the grip. Give it a few sprays inside the grip. Now this is probably the most daunting bit. Do not be scared. You have a lot of time to do this. Don't look at the videos where they're like quickly trying to get it on. This stuff stays lubricated for a long time. So just make sure you're ready. Some key points. All you need to do is make sure that that white line at the top there is in line with that little line there. That is just so, once you've applied the grip, it's not twisted, okay? So that's the only thing you really need to pay attention to. This is why it's key to do it yourself, like, 
This comes down to your eye and how your eye perceives things. So if you've got a tour pro who's um, fitting your grip for you and he likes to look down at the club different to you, he's gonna put it on the grip how he likes it and not how you like it. So when mine came back and I looked down at the club, how I hold it, it looks incredibly short. This is why I'm re-gripping them again because I like mine a little bit open. Now it's personal preference, but just bear that in mind, go off of your eye and not someone else's. Now obviously a lot of people use clamps and stuff like that. I don't have a clamp, you don't really need one. Just make sure the club face is where you want it. This I think is the hardest bit, is getting that bit over the edge. But, and you'll, you'll struggle at first, you'll be like, oh, it's not going on, but it does, trust me. You just squeeze it. You'll be panicking at this point, you'll be like, oh my God, I've got like two minutes to get this on. No, you don't, you've got as much time as it takes. Look, we're on. And then just gently, Pull that all the way to the bottom. Now we've got the grip on. What I like to do is give it a tap on the floor. One, two, three. And then you just go to town on lining it up. And I've done a pretty decent job already. Now again, do not be scared of this bit. This is the bit I was scared about. I was like, oh my God, I need to get it lined up as quick as possible before it all dries out. Do not be scared. Just take your time, make sure that everything's in line, look down at it, hold it how you would, and just be like, yeah, is that, is that how I like? Don't look at it as if to be like, oh, is that in line? Look down at the club and think to yourself, is that how you like to see the club face? That's how I like to do it. So get that one eye closed, look down the shaft. I like to see all of my grooves here, pointing straight up at the sky. Again, it comes down to personal preference. But I am pretty happy with that straight away. So I'm gonna leave that. One great way of lining the club up is putting it on a something flat, like a door frame, making sure all the grooves are flush to the uh, door frame and then aligning the grip from there. Now again, give your shafts a quick rub down, get rid of any of that lubricant that's left on there. And honestly, just take your time. Once you've done this, this is the fourth time I have done this. This is my fourth club that I've done. I've got three more to go. Honestly, it is easy. And as soon as you've done it once, you'll be able to do it a million times. You'll save money from going to a pro and you'll be able to do it from your eye, your perspective, rather than somebody else's. So it's been about five minutes now. Still, this is what I mean, just take your time. Do not be worried about it drying out too quick. You have more time than you think. So make sure you get it right. Keep checking it. Uh, again, I got this one nailed on pretty quickly, so I'm not gonna mess around with it, but it, the grip will still move after five minutes. So even if like you've panicked and you've got it wrong, you've still got plenty of time to get it done. Hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope it helps you and I hope it encourages you to do it yourself because me personally, I'm an idiot. I was very, very skeptical about doing this myself. Didn't think I had it in me, but even without the right tools like a clamp, it is still very easy to do from home in lockdown here in England. So thank you for, for watching. Share this with somebody if they're about to regrip them and uh, give it a like. Let me know that you liked the video and I'll see you hopefully, hopefully, like this is the first time I've been on camera for months now. Hopefully this summer we get lots of golf content because I am sick of being inside and as much as I love doing them videos, the documentaries, uh, I wanna be back and playing golf. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the not too distant future.